Good morning. Good Sunday morning to you. I'd like to welcome you to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. If you don't have a church to attend or you're looking for a church to attend, we'd like to take time to invite you to come and be with us in any and all of our services. Our Sunday morning services start at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday school preaching at 11, Sunday nights at 6 p.m., Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We also have an FM transmitter, so folks that are not feeling well, if they want to come on and sit in their vehicle, uh, they can tune the radio to 92.9 FM and hear what's going on inside the church. Hear it clear, they tell me. It's just as clear as it can be. We're glad to offer that for those that are unable to come in. But if they're able, we want them, want them to come inside. We're located at 1233 Collins Town Road in Westfield, North Carolina. And we're glad to have you with us this morning. We hope that this a short 10 or 11 minutes, 10 minutes with the pastor is what we call it would be an encouragement to you, you that are shut in, maybe having to work and, and can't get to church, you can take 10 minutes of your time, and or 11, as I said, or 12, but anyway, you can take a little bit of your time and view this, maybe not on Sunday mornings at 8.30 when we put it on, but maybe Sunday afternoon or evening or one day during the week, but whenever you're viewing, thank you for viewing, and we're going to be in the book of Matthew chapter number 8 today, verse number 23, Matthew chapter number 8, verse number 23, Get out that good old authorized King James Bible and you can read right along with us. Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Father, thank you so much for the privilege to pray. Help us that we might do your will today. Help us to glorify your name. And I pray if there be anybody viewing that's not saved, that they'll repent of their sins and call on the Lord Jesus Christ to save them. I pray for that brother or sister that's drifted away, God, that they'll get things right with you. Help us all that we might do your will. And Lord, I just pray for our missionaries. I pray for our services today. I pray for the services today everywhere the word of God is preached. Thank you so much for preachers, men that are still preaching the word of God. Help us today and we'll praise you for what you do. Give us liberty. Lord, show us what you'd have us to say. I don't want to say anything that we shouldn't say, but Lord, I do want to say what you won't say it. And we'll praise you for all that you do for us. Help us right now. Forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Matthew chapter number eight, verse number 23. This is a story that a lot of people have heard many, many times out of the word of God, but I want us to look at this. Jesus had just told somebody that said they wanted to follow the Lord, a certain scribe. He said, the foxes have holes. The birds of the air have nests. I'm in verse 20, but the son of man hath not where to lay his head. And another said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said, follow me and let the dead bury their dead. We need to follow the Lord. We need to count the cost. And a lot of folk ain't going to like it. A lot of your family's not going to like it if you dedicate yourself to live for God. Their folk try to get you out of church on Sunday mornings. Family members, friends. They'll try to get you out. I'm talking about you that are able, physically able to go. They'll try to get you out of church on Sunday morning. They'll try to get you not go on Sunday night. Hey, they'll schedule birthday parties, reunions, all kinds of things on Sunday evenings. And uh, they, don't, they don't care whether you miss church or not. But you ought to say, with the help of the, help of the Lord and with the grace of God, listen, we have service on Sunday nights. I won't be able to make it. We ought to let people know how important it is to us. Now, verse 23, we'll pick up. And the Bible says, when he was entered into a ship, when Jesus was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. Jesus is in the ship. His disciples are in the ship. And behold, verse 24 says, there arose a great tempest in the sea, a great storm, insomuch that the ship was covered with waves. But I like this, but he was asleep. Now, this would startle me and you it would startle us, this great tempest coming upon us and the, and the, and the waves uh, just covering the ship. But this situation didn't bother the Lord one bit. And by the way, it wasn't that he didn't care. It was the fact that he wasn't worried about it. He knew the end result. He knew what was going to happen. Let me just say this this morning. Aren't you glad that we don't know what's going to happen 20 years from now or 10 years from now or five years from now or one year from now. We, we don't know. But you know what? The Lord knows all about what's going to happen. And he's not worried one single bit about it. 
And when this great tempest arose on the sea and the waves were covering the ship, the Bible says he was asleep. You say, preacher, how do you know he wasn't worried? Because you can't sleep when you're worried. I know that from personal experience. And many of you do as well. But the Bible says he was asleep. And his disciples, the Bible says, came to him and awoke him saying, Lord, save us. We perish. Lord, save us. We perish. Now, pretty drastic situation, isn't it? You'd have to admit. They said, Lord, we got to have help. Basically, what they're saying is, Lord, if you don't help us, we're going to perish. We're going to drown. We're going to die. Well, listen, the Lord was on board with them. Amen. They went to him, but they said it's over with. Basically, they done had it figured out that if the Lord didn't do something, they were going to drown. So they went to him and said, Lord, save us. We perish. And he said to them, why are you fearful? My goodness gracious. Why are you fearful? Well, you say, preacher, because there was a storm and the great tempest raging and the waves were covering the sea. But Jesus said, why are you fearful? Who's on board with them? The Lord. Let me ask you this question this morning. Who's on board with us if we're saved, if we've been born again? Who's on board with us? The Lord, amen. Why are we fearful? Why are we fearful? You say, preacher, because we're human beings. Well, amen to that. We are. Every one of us are. But he also said, why are you fearful? And then he said, oh, ye of little faith. Why are you fearful, oh, ye of little faith? He really answers them when he tells them, your faith is little. You know why we're fearful a lot of times? It's because our faith is not big faith. It's little faith. We like to think that we've got big faith, but let a storm come up in our lives and we find out what kind of faith we've got. You know, when, when there's no storm, when there's smooth sailing, when everything's going good, well, it's, it's easy to, to have faith isn't it? because really everything's going good anyway, but what about when the tempest comes and the storms rage and the waves cover the ship? Jesus said, why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? You and I need to just learn that we can trust the Lord. Don't matter what the circumstances are. And I know, listen, sometimes it's tough. There are a lot of people going through a lot of terrible things, but the Lord's on board if you're saved. We don't have to be fearful. We don't have to have little faith. We can trust God. We can believe God. The Bible says when Jesus said that, why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose. He got up. He had been sleeping. He got up. He arose and rebuked the winds and the sea. He rebuked the winds, told them to quit blowing. He rebuked the sea, caused it to lay down. And the Bible says there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? They marveled at their Lord. What manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? When we're having a storm in our life or we're going through a storm, listen, we need to realize who's on board with us. And when God takes care of that storm and lays it down, we marvel too, don't we? My goodness, how good the Lord is. I'm marveling right now in a, in a, about something that God has brought us through, a storm. And I'm glad that he has. And it's amazing, isn't it? Why? Because he's God. He's able. God wants us to have not little faith. You know, and I'm not running anybody down. We're all, we're all human, as I said before. There's times when we have little faith, whether we want to admit it or not. But when those times come, the stormy times, the troublesome times, aren't you glad, thank God, we can trust him? I'm glad I can trust him. I'm glad I can trust the Lord. Did you know you can trust him? That storm you're in right now, if you're in a storm, if you're saved, if you've been born again, you've got somebody to call out to, the Lord Jesus Christ. He can help you. He can help me. Thank God he can. I hope you'll call on him today. If you're not saved, I hope you'll call on him and repent of your sins and ask Jesus to save you. Thank God the risen Savior. Call on him. Ask him to save you, to forgive you. And thank God if 
you mean it from your heart and you realize you're a sinner and you're willing to, you're tired of sin, you call on him, thank God he'll save you. If you ask him to forgive you, he'll save you. He'll give you a brand new life, a better life. If you're saved today and know the Lord and you're going through a storm, don't forget who's on board. The Lord's on board, amen. He's able. Let's have faith that can trust him. See, they thought it was over with. But listen, thank God I'm glad I've got the Savior on board today. Boy, he's good to me. My time's coming on. I've enjoyed being with you for this short 10 minutes with the pastor video. Thank you for viewing, and I hope that you'll tell others about it, share it. And uh, why, preacher? So others can hear the gospel. So others can hear the word of God. That's, that's the simple reason why uh, I want more people to hear the word of God. So if you'll share that and, uh, and pray for us, we're praying for you until next Sunday morning. We'd like to say God bless you is my prayer.